Okay, we are. I never, had, I never had an opportunity. I never had an opportunity like this. Ever. I never had an opportunity like this. Awesome. This is my first time going live. <laughs> this is my first time going live. So uh, cool, dude. I well, think I'll do it. Well, we're we're happy so, to have you on. We're happy to happy to hear your story. So so, what would you like to be called? What what uh, what is your code name? You could just say your normal name or whatever. Alex Quinn. Alex Quinn is my code name. Great, Alex, and um, and so tell us a little about yourself. Uh, I grew up in a small town. Uh, I grew up. I grew up in. A... Sorry, sorry. No, it's okay. Yeah, just be you, man. Just be you. I grew up from a. Uh, I came. From, I grew up in a small town. Uh, it's called Steel Plant. I mean. My father is a steel plant employee, so uh, I grew up in a steel plant township. And uh, and what so, co what country what country do you live in? I'm from India. I'm from India. So so let me clear this up. Uh, I'll clear my brain. So my brain is going blank. <laughs> That's okay. So, I'm I'm from a small town, and I live in a I, I live in steel plant, and uh, uh, it is under uh, the. A steel plant it produces steel. Steel plant produces steel and uh, uh, from the iron ore. And uh, so my father is an employee. My father is an employee in it. Uh, I grew up. Uh, my childhood was great. So I had so many friends. Uh, I had so many friends. So I had a very innocent childhood. I mean, up till my tenth tenth grade, I had an innocent childhood. I mean, uh, I had. I had. We had. We, we, we used to we do, we don't we did we don't used to do any unhealthy things. I mean, we used to chill out. We used to go to parks. We used to sing songs. I mean, we used to do some uh, scientific uh, activities. I mean, yeah. I mean, we used to watch some videos on YouTube, and we used to do that. Uh, so after that, after after my tenth grade, uh, and I have some problems. Of, uh, while I while I was uh, in my childhood, I had problems with my family. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Oh, wait. I mean, messages. Or so That's okay. uh, I had a pro I have I have pro I had some problems with my family. I mean, my father was a uh, my father used to drink so much. I mean, he used to drink so much and he used to waste all the money. I mean, he used to get. Uh, I mean. He used to get five dollars. I mean, five hundred, five hundred dollars per month. His pay. So uh, he used to spend it all on alcohol. So we used to. Uh, so there. So there is no income to us. I mean. Uh, so we had to, we had to bargain from someone. We had to take it. We, we had to take money as debt from others from uh, for high interest rates. So yeah, but now he stopped drinking because uh, because uh, because of family problems. I mean, we were we, we were broke to the we were broke to the bone. I mean, we were so down. So he had to stop. If he if he hadn't stopped, he would die. And uh, we 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 were also I mean we were also left as I mean I mean without any hope. I mean without any support. Yeah. So, so, so how did how did how did that affect you? How how did that whole experience affect you? Uh, it affected me in a different way. I mean, my mother used to beat me. I mean, for every silly uh, for for every silly reason. I mean, because my fa my father used to come beat my mother. Uh, he used to drink and uh, beat my mother for every reason. I mean, I mean, if he if she used to talk with another person, he, uh, he used to be. I mean, uh, he want he, he wanted. He wanted her to be in home. He don't. Uh, he don't wanted her to go uh, go out and explore the world. I mean, he just. Uh, she. He want. He just wanted her to be in home and do the homeworks. That's all. Uh, I mean, she, uh, he he doesn't want her to get educated. I mean, you know, right? So rules. I mean, uh, he doesn't want to get to know. Uh, he doesn't want her to know. Get to know about rules and regulations. So if if she. Yeah, if she got to know, uh, she would fight back, right? So, ah, uh, and 
even though even even if i die, even if i tell some even if i go against him he used, uh, he he'll beat me back so i would no i would never go against him so so my for, my my father used to beat my mother and uh, my mother used to show my really uh, show all the angry on me so till template i used to bear that uh, bear that uh, beatings and all that after 10th grade uh, when i jumped into 11th i mean high school um i got into this drugs i mean, my seniors uh, got my seniors got me into this drugs i mean weed uh, weed and uh, uh fevicol i mean fevi bond <laughs> something like that i mean alcohol and every and every drug you name it uh so when i went into when i introduced when i was introduced through the first first i was introduced to weed so slowly after when i was introduced to weed slowly after smoking weed i got to know about different people i i mean i got to see a different world i mean if you if you get to smoke weed i mean if you when you i mean when you go into gangs i mean different gangs you get to know about different people i mean there's a different world out there if you smoke weed you get to know the uh, you get to see that world so there's a different world i mean uh, in that world you get everything you get every drug you get everything you get to know about every party party culture you get to know about uh, every rap songs i mean every western culture so we get to know about everything uh, if we get into this weed and uh, i mean i mean this drugs i mean this i mean uh this provokes you to see some content from youtube mm-hmm. right i mean tri- some trippy music some trippy music and uh, trippy beats so 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 are you um interesting so so for you like drugs and those the the people the kind of the people that you were hanging out with really you felt open your eyes to a lot of the rest of the world. Yeah, yeah. And and uh for you like what what do you think is are the 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 positives of the experience of of smoking weed and also getting involved yeah. with drugs? But what are the what are the negatives? Yeah. What what are, what yeah. Yeah, I'll tell you. I'll first I'll tell you the positive. so getting involved in this weed gives you the immense knowledge i mean you'll get to know about different uh, different people i mean different uh, how how this gangsters i mean you get to know about gangsters i mean you see the content different uh, uh, 18 plus con- uh, content in youtube and you you'll try to you'll try to imitate that shit in your i mean sorry you, no, you'll no, try no, to no, imitate that's that that's fine you yeah you can uh, use whatever uh, language you want that's fine and uh, you uh, you try to imitate that things in your streets and your uh, hood and your juniors will try to imitate uh, the same things so it's becoming a it's becoming a habit i mean it's becoming a trend right so yeah like and that the, and so, how about on the on the what is the downside of of the uh, of the uh, let, me, let me let me tell you i mean i'm not done i'm not done let me oh, okay. i mean you get to you get the immense knowledge and uh, you'll get you'll hang out with the people with, who are elder to you right yeah that's the main point uh, here if, if you don't do if you if you get into weed and all drugs drugs and all that uh, and all this you you'll get to meet elder people elder to you the people who are elder to you so they'll drag you uh, they'll uh, give you Oh. Bro, uh I'm done with my internet. Can can we chat on Instagram? Oh, I mean. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Well, I, no, I, no, 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 no. So, 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 so. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so. I'm done with my net. So, we we have to end the chat right now. So. Sure. So, can I talk can I uh, can I talk for some time? I mean, tell how 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 it takes I mean, how much it goes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we can Till talk. The, till the till the till the video ends sure yeah yeah so what do you want us so you get to you get to meet elder people so you get to meet elder people so they drag you into this uh, gang a uh, gangster shit i mean they try to uh, they try to influence you they try to influence you with uh, 
I mean, like uh, they'll they'll first uh, they'll try they'll 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 do dealings in front of us first. Could you say those that last few those last few words again? They try to drag you. Dealings, dealings, dealings. I mean, uh, they do the dr drug dealings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they do the drug dealings in front of us, and they get the money, right? So the, some people will get addicted. Uh, some people will get influenced by that easy money. Yeah, that from there, from there the story starts, right? From there, uh, you'll get into that shit. I mean, he'll try to bring you the, some money. You'll bring some money from your parents, and the, some dealings wouldn't work, wouldn't go right, and you'll lose your money. And uh, when you get in, when you when you will get involved in this shit, you will get addicted to this shit. I mean, just you want to get money. I mean, easy money. I mean, when you get addicted to easy money, first first you'll get some money. I mean, first they'll uh, show you some money. When you get into this uh, dealings, the, first they'll show you some money, and after that, you 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 you'll go you'll go down zero into minus, and you'll be broke and. Then, then will the then that situations will 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 turn these uh, teenagers into thieves. That yeah, they 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 don't have money, right? Where they'll get money from? So they will steal. The, this is the shit happening, bro. This is and in United uh, in United States and abroad, the weed is so expensive, and people who are getting addicted to weed. So and. Uh, you know, bro. There is one. There is one logic I see from my childhood, bro. You wanna know? Uh, whenever we watch movies, at, at at starting, at first, they will say smoking is not good for health and drinking is not not good for health, right? Uh, so when when we watch movies. Whenever they are, whenever they get stressed or whenever they are happy, they'll get drink or they'll smoke, right? So it, uh, it is, uh, it's getting, it's getting, fe it's getting feeded in our sub subconscious memory. Whenever we see a movie, we see a hero smoking some, smoking some cigarette or drinking some liquor. See, seeing that uh, often, seeing that often, uh, it will. Register the mind will register that uh, sequence in your in uh, sequence. So whenever you get stressed or whenever you get happy, whenever you get happy, uh, so you'll smoke. It uh, your brain wants to smoke. Uh, I mean, smoke some cigarette or it uh, it wants to smoke. Uh, it wants to drink some alcohol. So people YouTube and every other channel they are feeding. I mean, they are they are knowingly or unknowingly feeding the information in our subconscious memory. So by this, uh, people are pro people are being people are being provoked to the, uh, towards the drugs and uh, all that shit. I mean, there so there are so many sites saying that weed is good for health. Weed is uh, uh, it's very good. It cures cancer. It's all that. If if we smoke weed in limit, I mean, if you smoke weed uh, once in a while, I mean, once in a month. It's good for you. It's good for your health. It's good for your brain, and it will try. It will try to reduce your insomnia and the sleeping problems. And if you smoke weed regularly, it will, you know, you do. You you will not be in reality. Every time you or you what you'll always think fantasy. I mean, you don't think reality. What do you think is the result? What what, what do you think? What do you you think about the outcome? You don't think about the work. I mean, uh, uh, you'll start uh, creating fake scenarios, right? If you smoke weed regularly, if you smoke weed regularly, if you don't have any work to do, and if you smoke weed, you have you have nothing to do. You try. You begin to uh, uh, create fake scenarios, like you are the hero in the movie, or you are having some great uh, mansion. Like that, it will it will drag you. It will drag you to the top. if you do, if you smoke weed and do some work, it's okay. If you do if you smoke weed and don't do any work, and if you smoke weed and sit like that, it will drain your brain. It will it will rust. It will rust your brain. Your brain stops working. So it will so your brain totally depends upon weed. 
so if you don't have weight you'll get irritated for every small things uh so you don't know the difference between the family and the others so you you show the same anger on family and you show the same anger on public people so so, so you know so, like so for for people like watching this what what do you think for you what do you think a healthy relationship with weed d- looks like like how often you ask you, me yeah mm-hmm, yeah yeah can you repeat the question sure yeah like so how for the people watching what do you think what does a healthy relationship with weed look like do you think that like how often do you think that a person should smoke weed under what circumstances should a person smoke weed no person shouldn't smoke weed under circumstances because it addicts the person because whenever the circumstances occur they smoke the weed right did you did you get my point uh so so what you're what you're advocating is that people should never smoke weed people shouldn't smoke under circumstances people under, sm- under should smoke one, i guess i guess i i, I wonder what which under what sir i i'll say i'll say you certain circumstances when they are sad when they are stressed uh like that when they are sad when they are stressed when they are depressed so uh, people can people can smoke weed when they're stressed but people cannot smoke weed when they're sad when they're i mean when they're i mean i don't know how to say but under if we, if we smoke weed under circumstances uh, whenever the circumstance occur if you uh, your brain wants to weed so don't put a certain circum- certain time to smoke weed just uh, if it's a uh, if we it's what month it is sorry can i know what month it is september september so so if you if you work if you people work so work uh, work work every day i mean work all the work out 20 days and last 10 days spe- uh, spend some time i mean in spend some time with friends and that would be great right i mean instead of uh, instead of taking weekends grind all the 20 days and uh, rest of rest and days uh, meet with friends go out hang out do uh, go out on some road trips have some healthy relationship i mean like that i mean at that time if you if uh, at that time if you smoke weed it doesn't affect so much i mean i i guess and some and it's my perception and to some people and my, to my friends my friends smoke weed to do some work i mean to do i mean to produce music uh he says that if he, if he smoke weed he'll get some inspiration or something he'll say uh, in that way so yeah so <laughs> Yeah, I was saying. Yeah, obviously, <laughs> yeah, yeah, obviously, obviously, the introduction of of weed to you has has made a big impression. Um, for you yeah. in particular, do you have a story about smoking that kind of um, encapsulates encapsulates your experience with weed? Like, was there a moment where you were really happy when you smoked that it was a positive experience? or was there an event where you were yeah, very yeah. sad that you smoked uh, and it was weed, bad this uh, uh, uh this weed got into me this rapping culture yeah so i started rapping so i just want to rap i just want to express myself i just want to get heard so yeah cool and now for for people who are watching uh this is uh alex's um this is alex's instagram right here Alex Payne and he says that he has some rapping stuff on there so check him out if you're interested uh before your internet cuts out apparently it's it's still going which is pretty good i'm not complaining yeah. um what yeah. what do you what do you think are the differences between living in india and living in the united states living in india you don't get more opportunities there is only one opportunity and that is study studying you either get to do engineer you either get to do engineering or doctor and there is not much opportunities i mean now there are some opportunities i mean there is a, there are some there are some opportunities rising for uh, for teenagers 
but there are, i mean there is still this thing going on called nepotism in every in every area in every area you go there is nepotism so yeah india is a great it's a great place i mean it's a, i'm proud I'm, i'm proud to be an indian but some things yeah some things i don't like about my country too so yeah I, every i mean when i was a kid i uh, my father told me my father told me that uh, to my father so 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 when my father was uh, young my father's father told him that uh, india is a developing country and my father yeah and my, now my father is telling me india is a developing country and now i'm going to tell to my kid india is a developing country so when is going to, when when our country is going to develop right hmm interesting so, interesting yeah yeah like when when is when is this developed developing country going to be developed you know it's like it's almost there, like, there are so many scams with this so many scams are going on in our country and uh, politicians are i mean i don't blame the politicians but uh, i mean yeah there are some points to be there are some points uh to which we can blame on uh, I mean, politicians i mean they are i mean they are like uh, if we if we if they are getting 100% revenue from the public they are they are i mean they are feeding off the revenue i mean they taking all the revenue and they are giving like 30 they are spending like 30 to 20% to the public i mean they are giving back i mean taxes you understand what i said yes then yes. when they are getting 100% of taxes they are taking away all the 80% of 80 or 70% of taxes and they are spending back the 30% of taxes i mean the our economy is uh, i mean it's not good i mean it's kind of yeah broken i mean it sounds like there's a lot of corruption um it's yeah um you're right like what you're saying um Aba- and apart from apart from, can i can i say one thing can i say something yeah sure yeah apart from uh, studies there is so much there is so much talent in india hidden talent i mean unseen talent if you explore india you get to see so much uh, so much talent i mean men's talent I mean. there are so many i mean uh, painters artists uh artists i mean artists dancers rappers yeah. a lot there's so many untapped people. potential yeah a lot of untapped but yeah i mean there's a lot of people untapped untapped potential yeah yeah and in this this omega is a great site if we keep references <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah yeah well if, if we keep, uh, yeah i think that this site is references, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Go for it. Wait, yeah, say that again. We need references. Uh, Omega is a good site. I mean, people will come uh, with the with the who are with who are having same same preferences. So it's a great it's a great platform. So I I got many followers from this Omega. So I had uh, uh, in uh, acquaintance with uh, very I mean so many people who are rappers who are. I mean, normal people rappers there 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 are no normal people and everyone's a baller so mm-hmm. yeah well i i guess i have another question for you um have you traveled outside of india very much no never never if you i have... Uh, i have a i have a dream to travel out of india so yeah uh, i'm now i'm an undergraduate so i'm looking forward to do mba so i'm preparing for that uh, yeah let's see how much it is going to be and i'm a rapper too, so it's it would be great if you watch my content not not right now uh, if you have a free, if you have in your free okay. time or something i think it's worth your while <laughs> it, it won't waste your time awesome very cool But, yeah and and i'm and i'm also saying there's some profanity in it so Cool. Thank you for the thank you for that. Um for me it doesn't really matter. Uh <laughs> you know mm-hmm. like language is I think it's important to 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 say what we need to say Antak. in Antak. Use the language. Hmm? Uncut uncut. Yeah, exactly. Uncut uncut exactly. Yeah. yeah. Well, if if you if you could travel 
to five different places in the world, five different places, where would you want to travel to? New Zealand, Canada. Uh, I want to visit Dubai once, for once. Uh, and uh, uh, Iceland. And uh, yeah, Africa. Africa is a yeah. Africa is a big place. Where 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 in Africa would you like to go? I really want to visit the forests or the the forests. Okay, interesting. Yeah. That's cool. Well, um, I I have uh, one more one more question. Um, uh, I yeah, ask how many questions you want. I came, the video ends. I came up with a uh, I came up with a list of a bunch of them. Um, so pick a number. Questions. Between, yeah. Oh, numbers. Okay. Yeah, pick a number between one and forty-five, and I'll ask you that question. One and forty-five. One and forty-five. Twenty-four. What are you most proud of? Right now, I'm proud of my rapping skills. I mean, I get I get good uh, compliments from people wherever I go and rap. So I'm proud of my skill right now. So this is the skill. This is the only skill I have, I guess. No, so. no. Well, it's you know, it, it's a it's a it's a testament. Um, you know, I just want to say um, that I I really appreciate you kind of talking about your story, talking about your family growing up, and and dealing with that that violence and and also kind of this community that you found with other rappers and and that you feel like you found a place to express your creativity i think it, it takes a lot especially in a culture where that isn't valued as much maybe as it is in america like it takes a lot of bravery to put yourself out there and to do it yeah. and and to create yeah. a platform and and um you know, maybe people don't understand that, and if they do, like um, because can I, can I say one thing? Yeah, of course. Because of this, because of, because of this, most of the Indians are immigrating to other countries. Most of the Indians, because there is no good pay, there is no good pay, there is no recognition of talent. So because of this, people are trying to. However, there any chance by by any means. They're going. They're getting out of this country. So, because of this country's name is getting down. Fame, country's name and fame is getting down. I mean, the talented people see. More, all the Silicon Valley is uh, is ruled by our Indians. You know. You know <laughs> yeah, that. You yeah. know that. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not. Wouldn't wouldn't be surprised. I guess. Yeah. Very tenacious. Yeah. yeah a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So that's how. So. If uh, if uh, if uh, if government if government if our government in uh, invests in teenagers, I mean in the students who are doing wonders, I mean with what they have, I mean if you know if a if a kid did something wonder in India, I mean he is from uh, either he must be from either he must be from, he must be he must be from some small gully. Or he's uh, some educated. I mean, he's from middle class. That's it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Most of the most of the poor people in India do wonders. I mean, they do so much uh, good because, but they don't have any platform. Most of the most of the poor, I mean, most of the beggars. If you see some videos, most of the beggars from India, they do they do amazing dance. I mean, one of the uh, I mean, pedestrian. When, while he was going by, uh, he he was stopped by a beggar. So he, the beggar asked uh, for him to see his performance. So he performed. So he got he got astonished by his performance. So he recorded it and uploaded it in YouTube, uh, YouTube and every social media channel. Wow. So so he got popular. So he got a, so this social media is a platform. This this is a great platform. I mean, this uh, this is a great platform because this, because of this platform. Uh, I mean, because of this platform. Wait, messages. I mean, because of this platform, most of the people are getting hurt, are being hurt. 
so i get, i think this is the great platform i mean internet is uh, uh, yeah yeah it, it's it, a, it, it allows a lot of people it allows a lot of people yeah. to to kind of come out of the woodwork and and it allows us to tap into that untapped potential that you were talking about earlier absolutely yeah, yeah. well before before oh, we sure. get going alex is there any last thing that you'd like to say uh, what do you want me to say about well, what? Yeah, well, well, just a, a kind of last word or maybe a piece of advice for the audience. I just want to give one advice, one, one. Anything out of limit is dangerous. That's what I said. That's what I want. Mm -hmm. anything, anything out of limit is dangerous. It affects your body. I mean, happiness out of limit. Happiness is, uh, you can be happy, happy out of limit, but drugs and uh, anything a uh, thinking or if you think uh, very uh, for a long time it, it, it affects your brain so if not everything not unlimited just limits so don't don't do drugs if you have some skills use i mean i i would suggest most of the people to use omega with pref i mean add interests Add your interest and use Omega, so you will find your you could find your companion. So yeah. and one more thing, one more thing, and can I say one more thing? Yeah. So I get offended by the more I get offended by the most of uh, foreigners. I mean, most of the foreigners uh, judge judge the judge the book by its cover. I mean, I don't know why. Yeah, I mean, most of them don't like brown people. I mean, they don't like Indians. I don't know why. Why most of the white people don't like Indians? I don't know why. So most of the people, I mean, so to uh, why I uh, why I use Omega these uh, to to meet strangers and uh, yeah, I don't have a girlfriend, so I want to talk to girls. <laughs> so I want to talk to girls. Yeah, I'm being honest. I want to talk to girls too. So, girls are like a foreign girl. I mean, foreign girls. I mean, most of the abroad girls are like they are not into brown guys. I mean, they are like a, they are so cheap. They are so I mean, down down. I mean, they are barbarian. So they don't have any skill. I mean, just if they if they try to if they give one minute to express ourselves, mm -hmm. we would express right. Just one minute. I mean, just give us one minute. I mean. One minute is enough. I mean, just I want. Absolutely. To, I just I, want to. I just want to. Be, I just want to rap. I just want to. I just want to uh, increase my followers. You know. Yeah, I'm a boy. Why would I? Why would I? Why would I want to have a girl follower, right? Yeah, yeah. I think you yeah. know. I think I think a lot of people on here and around the world too, like, are afraid of the things that they don't understand. Are afraid of the things yeah, that they don't know. Exactly, so, if, exactly. so if they don't, if people don't know, I mean, I'm not justifying people's hatred towards others, but I think that the way that hatred can be combated is if we all get to know each other. We all sit down and listen to each other's stories, yeah. and that maybe if we listen a little more, then things will become less foreign, and people will feel more comfortable. And then there'll be less hatred because they'll see that the things that unite us vastly outnumber the things that make us different from each other. Um, yeah. And I think I think one thing is that all human beings have creativity in them and that that is a great kind of um, foundation. If we all re recognize that and we all encourage each other to be as creative as possible and to go for it then that's a way that we can all kind of come together and make this world a better place. So Alex, thank you so much, yeah. man. I really appreciate you talking. Yeah. 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 And sure uh, thing, bro. yeah, and uh, I'll, I'll be posting this video like right now. Uh, so uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't. Oh, and, did, I, did I do, did I do good? I mean, did I, what what my what my communication skills up to yeah, the yeah you were great yeah yeah what was what what's great about it is like you're you're just talking very canned you're talking very openly and um and that's really awesome it's it's brave and um and you did a great a great job for your first time.
for your first time being on. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to check. Yeah, I'll check. Out your, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll check out your, uh, your um, Instagram soon and, and listen to some of your stuff, man. Good luck out there. Okay. Yeah. All right. Hey, take Peace care. Peace out, man. bro. Au revoir. <laughs> See ya. Yeah. Bye. Cool guy. Interesting.